Dave Portnoy posted a lengthy video on social media on Monday explaining why the comparisons between Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese are unfair and cruel. Dave Portnoy had a pointed message for the pundits that continue to compare Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese as the two rookies battle it out for the WNBA Rookie of the Year award. On X, the Barstool Sports boss posted a lengthy video of him, captioned, The media needs to stop comparing Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. It's unfair and cruel. Responding to basketball great Lisa, Leslie claiming both Reese and Clark deserve the award. After seeing Leslie's post on X, Portnoy declared he was worried about Reese and her mental health as she continued to be compared to Clark. However, Portnoy continued by saying he was a fan of Clark's and explained why the Indiana Fever rookie deserved the award over Reese. Angel Reese, generational rebounder possibly, very good rebounder, can't shoot a lick, Portnoy said. She's a great rebound, doesn't make her team better. The Chicago Sky already have as many losses this year as they did last year. They've gotten significantly worse. Dave Portnoy shouts, easy money, after sensational Caitlin Clark keeps $10 million bet alive. Dave Portnoy calls out funny, Angel Reese ending after Caitlin Clark loss. Meanwhile, the fever, we all know they're 17 to 16. The best record they've had in like a decade. The first time Kelsey Mitchell will ever make the playoffs. They're playing as good as anyone in the league. And it's all because Caitlin Clark is now in the MVP conversation. Forget Rookie of the Year. Portnoy added that not every player is a Michael Jordan or a Steph Curry. In this case, the 47-year-old likened Reese to multiple NBA All-Star and All-NBA talent Andre Drummond due to their ability to rebound the ball with incredible tenacity. So, why are we talking about Angel Reese, who is a rebounder? Portnoy continued, As she does one thing well, and she does it great. She rebounds nothing else. She does nothing else. Caitlin Clark does it all. So, why do we keep comparing these two? How would you like to be Angel Reese? And every time they mention your name, they're mentioning, well, maybe Rookie of the Year. She is as good as Caitlin. Portnoy continued to say that the expectation of having Reese compete against Clark is damaging the mental well-being of the Sky Rookie, stating, Nobody should be forced to live under unfair, unreachable expectations their whole life. Finally, Portnoy compared the Rookie of the Year race between Clark and Reese to a race between Jordan and oft-injured center Sam Bowie, with Jordan winning Rookie of the Year. He also claimed that if Reese were to have a mental breakdown, it is the media's fault for perpetuating a false narrative at Reese's expense. She is a great rebounder. And yes, if Caitlin Clark didn't exist, well, 95% of the country wouldn't know who Angel Reese is, but that, forget that. If Caitlin Clark didn't exist, yeah, Angel Reese would be Rookie of the Year. But if ice cream and candy were Halloween or something like that, that expression if gumdrops and Kit Kats, if ifs and buts were candy, every day would be Halloween. For Portnoy to be backing Clark in her rookie season as the fever solidify their playoff spot makes sense. In early August, Portnoy placed a $100,000 bet on the fever, who sat at plus 10,000 odds to win the WNBA title, showing just how much trust he had in the rookie and Indiana. If the fever win the championship, Portnoy would win $10 million. While Portnoy waits to see if the Fever wins the title, he has already made it clear who he expects to win Rookie of the Year. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, my channel, Babu Das News.